Hello everyone. Um, today I'm actually going to be showing you an update on the Polymo 203A I'm restoring. Um, been working on logics here today and got all the uh, the logic signals working correctly. New LEDs and uh, I got some really low profile LEDs. Uh, very small which is excellent. I think they're like 10 milliamps. Um, but as you can see everything switches. Rebuilt the Fartron power supply, got it 100% working. And um, right now, still just working on logic. I got uh, most of the presets working, as you can see. And they are switching over here. So I change them. But uh, over here, on this board, I haven't got to it yet. I did replace the LEDs on it as well. As you can see, some, some of the logic, some of the logic works some of it don't. So uh, that's my next big progress, I mean project. Um, <clears throat> but anyways I had to replace some uh, some of the uh, multiplexer ICs. I went through and just replaced all the uh, the logic ICs there. The CMOS chips. I went through and replaced all these diodes. Had some diodes that were actually burn up causing uh, some of the logic to stay off or stay on depending on the position of the uh, the diodes and also I'm going to show you something here for any of you that have dead polymos completely and draws a huge amount of voltage <laughs> and actually causes your uh, shunt resistors to burn out these little guys right here on this one and the uh, Moog power supply has the same one same things there I think they're just like right up in here though um, where these are below but uh, basically what you add is you have some voltage suppressors on this on this this board here and uh, these are them right here but what happens if your voltage uh, spikes it can actually burn these little guys out and it uh, basically short straight to ground um, that's what they do they short out when a voltage spike happens and it can be caused by ripple by too much ripple can actually cause it um, several things can cause it um, but anyways, it's just a spike in voltage, and it can burn these guys out, causing your voltage and current to be drawn to ground, which is basically a dead short. And um, they don't necessarily smoke or anything, but you will see this little guy, these shunt resistors heat up. And when they heat up, they burn out. And um, so basically that lets you know that you've got something shorted. Um, but on this one, actually had these put in backwards. They had one in backwards when I got it, so nothing was really functioning. They had hook the power supply up backwards, so I had to replace a ton of stuff in this one. Um, but also, on top of that, instead of finding the short, they actually replaced the shunt resistors, which are a very um, uh, weak resistor. They're, they're basically a dead short resistor. They're about 0.68 ohms, which is basically a short. Um, but they had put wire wound resistors in their place so those things weren't going to open up and so basically they were just driving a short all the time and um, so I replaced all that put the right kind of resistors in and um, I think I put metal oxide resistors if I can remember right film film style resistors they, they actually burn out faster but that they're uh, you don't want those things to stay um, stay good if you got a short because they're basically kind of like a fuse in that circuit so it protects everything else. Um, but anyways, as you can see, I'm definitely making progress on this thing. And um, you still got some logic issues, like I said. Three works, four works, five is six for some odd reason right now. And six is six, so that works. But seven, eight, nine, and there's your variation mode. But um, yeah, five is still acting up. Kind of weird. Um, but anyways, um, just thought I'd make a quick video here to show you the progress I've got going on. And um, definitely I'm getting close to uh, being able to put this thing back together and actually set the, uh, set the boards in it. Still got to rebuild the voltage control filter board. I haven't got to it yet. But I did manage to get an original E402 JFET um, transistor that goes in the filter circuit. And um, basically it's a balancer for the uh, for the filter but um, anyways just thought I'd give you an update on this progress I've made and uh, I have some more videos pretty soon here so thanks for watching
Take care.